Babcock. The Indians have won the toss, Randy, and they have elected to defer their option to the second half, so UNLV will get the ball first here tonight. Thank you, Scott Inman, down on the sidelines. So Arkansas State will defer the Indians, white tops, white bottoms with the black helmets, UNLV with the scarlet red with the gray bottoms. Off to our right will be Arkansas State to begin this first quarter of action. To our left will be UNLV. So offensively, Marcus, we expect Jared Brown, six foot 185 senior from Sacramento, California, to lead his team on to the playing field. In the backfield, he'll start with Tony Burton, 5'11", 185 junior from Fallbrook, California, and Shannon Wilson, 6'2", 235 senior from Detroit, Michigan. Exactly, uh, Jared Brown's gonna start the game, but look for Coach Horton not to hesitate if if uh, Brown falters to go to Jason Davis, the 6'3", 190-pound senior from Rialto, California. And set to kick the football away will be Jim Thrall, 6'215", senior from Atlantic Beach, Florida. Jim, better known as Thunderleg, yesterday, Marcus, he was booming the ball through the end zone. He was kicking it so far, Randy, we thought several automobiles that were parked in the end zone were in danger of losing uh, windshields. Arkansas State to our right, UNLV to our left. We're just about set for Big West action. Arkansas State enters today one and zero. Overall, one and zero in Big West play. That by virtue of victory over Utah State just a week ago in Jonesboro, while UNV enters with the mark of one and zero, zero and zero in conference play, losing to Rice last week, 38 to nothing. Randy, Coach Bobo elects to defer to the second half. I think the reasoning being this wind that's swirling and gusting to some degree is going to play a very important part in this football game as far as field position, as far as the kicking game and passing game. Also, Coach Bobo has a lot of confidence right now in his defense. He wants to see if they can go out there and put the Rebels deep and make something happen, maybe turn the football over. Sam Boyd Stadium located some 20 minutes from the campus of UNLV located literally out in the middle of the desert as we look out over the sunset as it begins to sink here in Las Vegas. A beautiful mountain range, Marcus, reminds you a little bit of Las Cruces, New Mexico. It really does, Randy. It's a beautiful, beautiful uh, uh, sky, skyline, if you will, uh, although it's uh, mountains instead of uh, buildings. A minor marketing problem here at UNLV. They sold over 40,000 tickets for a 32,000 seat capacity stadium. However, I would guesstimate the crowd to be somewhere in the neighborhood of 18 to 20,000, so everyone, I guess, is not going to show up at one time. Otherwise, <laughs> there'll be a fight for some seats. I will say they're, they're, they seem to continue to file in. Uh, the people out west are notorious for being late arrivers. I think that's what we're seeing. That's going to be a big issue. This, is, this will be a fairly large crowd, so the Indians will have to control the football, make first downs, and keep this crowd out, out of the game uh, to encourage the uh, Rebels. Well, this delay has been brought about. I assume we're waiting for the football to be brought in by parachute. <laughs> and either he has landed in Reno or somewhere on the strip. Well, actually, I'm expecting Elvis any minute to, to come in with the football, Randy. Well, the crowd keeps looking up into the sky. There's not a cloud in the sky, so we can't be looking for rain here at UNLV. Again, capacity 32,000. UNLV comes in tonight with a record of... 0 oh and 1, 19 and 8 in home openers under Jeff Horton, 2 and 0. Horton 7 and 6 at UNLV, 14 and 10 in his career. The wind is out of the West. And many may remember Jeff Horton as a former Razorback, as a wide receiver. So again, we're waiting on, I assume, the football to be brought in somewhere into the stadium, because that seems to be the delay at this moment. The crowd is on their feet. The players have entered the playing field. Now they've exited the playing field and warm-ups continue on the sidelines. So we have had what has now worked out to be a three or four minute extension of what we thought was to be the kickoff time. Randy, I might add that the Indians, uh, from talking with them uh, in the hotel and around the city, are extremely confident football team coming in. Stephen Gamlin actually predicted a 45 to nothing victory for the All Indians right. <laughs> today. So I told him we'll take that and then some. We'll take the W. That is the important step. Don't forget next weekend at Jonesboro, returning back home will be the Indians. Hope to see you at Indian Stadium around 6 o'clock next Saturday night. Arkansas State and Southern Illinois. Meanwhile, tonight, here in Las Vegas, Nevada, it is the Rebels of UNLV. 
Randy, I'm surprised. I think Coach Bobo would probably very, be very upset at the delay. I think that is a parachute that we were waiting for to drop the football in. Uh, his teams are timed specifically to come out on the field and, and start performing, and now we've got a de delay uh, because of the parachute. I don't think he's too happy at all. He's well, looking at his watch right now, Randy. Unless there is an adjustment, and now the adjustment being made by the parachutist, he's finally going to land somewhere near the 50-yard line. So I assume in that pouch is the football. And Randy, it is Elvis. Showtime, baby. Showtime, Las Vegas, Nevada. Whoa. Oh, Elvis and the spill. We have several and Elvises. Good, and American flag. One, two, three parachutists, and they are having what I would call crash landings. And there's the football. Only in Las Vegas. <laughs> Randy, that may be the hardest hit we see all night, the way these guys hit this turf. Defensively for Arkansas State, Gary Jackson at one defensive end from all-timer, 6'3", 220, a junior, two-year letterman. At one nose guard position, Carlo White, 6'1", 280, senior, two-year letterman from Sanford, Florida. At the tackle position, Stefan Gamlin, 6'5", 285, senior to your letterman from Hamburg, George, uh, Germany. At defensive end, number 44, Carlos Emmons, 6'4", 240, senior three-year letterman from Greenwood, Mississippi. At outside linebacker, Torrance Suck, 6'1", 210, junior from West Memphis, Arkansas. Middle linebacker, 6'2", 215, junior from Prattville, Alabama, Linton Beavers. Outside linebacker, Rodney Hawthorne. 5'9", 225 senior from Collins, Mississippi. A left quarterback, Rodney Allen, the freshman from Little Rock Fair. 5'10", 170, a sophomore. At one safety, number 25, Darrell Baker from Folkestone, Georgia. 5'10", 180, a junior, one letterman. At the other cornerback position, Ray Robbins. 5'8", 165, senior, three-year letterman from West Memphis, Arkansas. Randy, we might add that uh, UNLV was penalized, I think, five or 10 yards for delay of game. Uh, waiting on the uh, kickers, the About uh, time. parachuters to come in. I think Bobo uh, agrees with that. Back deep will be Kwame Coleman along with Derek Charles. The kick is deep, some 9, 10 yards in the end zone. The ball ricochets off the fingertips of Coleman out of bounds. It's a touchback, first down and 10, Arkansas State on the defense. UNLV will take over at their own 20. Very important series, this first series for the ASU defense. They want to get in and make something happen. Put some licks on uh, Jared Brown to uh, destroy his confidence even more from last week. Ball in the center of the field as the Arkansas State defense, a 4-3 alignment. Twin set into open field right, one receiver split to the left. At quarterback to start tonight's game, it will be Jared Brown. First down and 10 from the 20 yard line of UNLV. Straight drop in the pocket, the pass in the flat. At the 20, at the 25, out to the 30, rushed out of bounds at the 31 yard line. It's a first down and 10. The pass swung out into the flat. Nice reception into the hands of Charles for a first down. Oh, good pass that time. But that's the strategy right now to get uh, Brown some confidence, a little pass out in the flat, uh, just to loosen him up a little bit and uh, pick up some yards. That time they were able to pick up first down. Direction that was to Tony Burton. Burton picked up 11 yards. First down and 10 for UNLV. The football at the 31-yard line. Knocked out by Baker. Handoff. Burton cutting back to his left. Buried at the 32-yard line. Outstanding pursuit by Carlo White. Stefan Gamlin also in the play. Defensively, the gain is from the 31 out to the 32-yard line. It's second down and nine. Now, last week, the UNLV Rebels were only able to rush for 158 yards. That's going to be a big key for the Rebels if they can move the ball on the ground and also give up, take some of the pressure off of Brown. ASU plays excellent run defense, though, as we saw last week. Carlo Emmons may have stung an ankle. He limps off the field. There's actually a gain of two yards on the play. Second down and eight from the 33-yard line. Twin set to the short side. Open receiver to the right. That's Derek Charles into open field. One lone setback, play action. Brown will make that Davis rolling to his right. Plenty of time under pressure now throwing the ball. Incomplete at the 47-yard line as the pass was intended out in the flat. Intended for David White on the coverage, though, was the JUCO secondary performer for the Arkansas State Indians, Roderick Mosey, and Roderick with a near pick. All right, good good pressure that time from the Indian defensive ends on Brown. We saw a little nervous feet that time from the quarterback, Jared Brown, and he overthrew the receiver. Third down and eight. The football at the 33-yard line of UNLV. Twin set into open field right. The ball's on the left hash mark. 4-3 defensive front for the Indians. One receiver also split to the left. 
Straight drop by Davis in the pocket, screen call. Burton at the 35, Burton at the 40, cutting back at the 43. Burton to the 45, to the 50. Burton to the 40 of Arkansas State, to the 35, down to the 32 yard line. Finally drugged down defensively by Arkansas State. Nice play finally in the secondary by the Indians, but a tremendous screen set up, Marcus, good for the first down. Great screen, great call that time again on uh, second and long, uh, giving Brown a little bit of confidence. Uh, that time Burton running strong. Only had one reception last week for uh, eight yards, uh, but this time they're going to use him as a receiver. Broke a bunch of Indian tackles. 35-yard gain on the play gives UNLV their second first down. The ball's at the Indian 32-yard line. Right hash mark, open field, left twin set into open field. 13 minutes, 41 seconds left to play in this first quarter of action. The handoff to the bulldozer, Shannon Wilson, 6'2", 235 senior, inside the 30, down to the 28-yard line before he's not, finally knocked down by Clarence Williams. Wilson's their truck, as they call him, at 6'2", 235 pounds. He's the workhorse. Had 79 yards last week on uh, 19 carries. Look to see him a lot of time on the tough yardage plays. Four yards on the pickup, second down and six. Twin set into open field right. One receiver split to the left. Second and six for UNLV. 13.05 left to play in this first. Quarter of action. Davis under pressure. The quarterback sack back to the 36 yard line, pouring through. Tarsh Freeman, what a great play as he came from his linebacker position. The loss is back to the 35 yard line. Great play that time, a misread that time, if you will, by Brown. Uh, the Indian defensive ends. Uh, haven't seen a person that had a great game last week, Carlos Inmans, but the defensive ends this week are doing an excellent job. That time, Tarsh Freeman uh, just uh, leaped to go. over the blocker and made an excellent uh, sack. Third down and 13. The ball back at the Arkansas State 35-yard line. Twin set into open field left. One receiver split to the right. 4-3 defensive alignment for the Indians. 12-27 left to play first quarter. Davis straight drop in the pocket, looking to his left, throwing to his left. The pass caught at the 23-yard line. Nice fingertip reception going down to make the grab for UNLV as DeMond Williams is short of a first down by about three yards. Well, let's say they'll say his forward progress, though, Marcus, about a yard short of the first down. We noted earlier that the Indian secondary is riddled with injuries that time. Jeremy Ligon on the coverage that time simply went the wrong way. The receiver broke the other way and was able to make the low diving catch. Three or four passing early for Jared Davis. That reception for close to 12 yards. We'll have to wait and see if it's enough for a first and they brought the chains out. They'll stretch the chains. It's about a yard short, so it's a fourth down. And decision time for Jeff Horton. Big decision this time, and I look for him to go for it. They feel like they've got the big uh, running back, Wilson. Look for him to get the ball up the middle and test this Indian interior. Uh, big play for Carlo White and Stephen Gamlin. Those guys are confident, and uh, we'll see how they stack up against this Rebel offensive line. Fourth and a yard, 12 minutes, six seconds in this first quarter, no score. UNLV took the ball from the 20-yard line after a touchback on the opening kickoff. Twin set. To the right, one long receiver to the left. Two tight end formation. At the line of scrimmage, long signal count by Jared Brown. Indians now with eight men at the line of scrimmage. Handoff, sweep, left side. Wilson has the first down plus more inside the 20 down to the 15 yard line. So it's a first and 10 for UNLV, their third first down in his drive. Randy credit that first down to Jared Brown. He checked off at the line of scrimmage. I'm sure he had a play that was designed to go up the middle to Wilson. He called the check off. Wilson veered to the outside where there was plenty of room and made the first down. Rodney Hawthorne with the tackle, but not until the first down gained by the Rebels. Receivers split to both sides. The ball's in the left hash mark. Open field to the right of the formation. 11.47 left to play in this first quarter of action. Back under the, underneath center, Jared Brown. Brown on the handoff. The power Open play the to the left side. And on the tackle was Torrance Suggs for Arkansas State. The carry down near the 11-yard line. Close to four yards on the carry. And Wilson, quite a load for UNLV. Quite a load. It's interesting to see the ASU defense. Last week we saw a lot of bending. They would give up a lot of yardage on drives in between the 20s, but somehow they would stiffen up and make a big play when they got inside the red zone. Let's see what happens this time. Again, receivers split to both sides. Two tight ends. The ball's on the left hash mark. Indians in a 4-3 alignment. Second down and seven. At the line of scrimmage, Jared Brown. Play action, now the handoff stacked up inside the Indians. Penetration first on the play was big Brian Singleton. Also on the play was big Carl White. 
as the handoff, the quick trap went to Tony Burton. He was stacked up for no gain. Great play that time by Singleton, filling in. Excellent penetration by Carla White to throw the playoff, and then Singleton really comes in and cleans up on a crushing tackle. They'll get a yard gain just inside the 10. Closer to the 11-yard line. We'll go down to Scott Emmett in a few moments on the sidelines. 10.35 left to play in this opening quarter. And confusion on the field. There's a timeout on the field. We'll break ourselves with the score. UNLV nothing. Arkansas State nothing. This is ASU football. Fans, if you purchase the Rebel football souvenir game program tonight, you can win a gift certificate package from Mr. Goodson, Subs, and Pasta. If Coach Hart has autographed your program, you've won. It's that easy. Programs are on sale throughout the San Boy Stadium. It's your copy of this season opener here at home of your Game Illustrated program. And Rebel fans, stop by the San Boy Stadium food court to satisfy all of your refreshment needs. Food courts are located outside the east and west concourses. Ten minutes, 34 seconds left to play. This first quarter of action, no score. Let's go down to Scott Emmett on the sidelines. Randy, we talked about prior to this contest how the banged up secondary of Arkansas State might be a big problem tonight, but so far, UNLV has not really even tested that secondary except for their tackling abilities. These short little screen passes are really kill killing ASU where the game's being won right now is on the offensive line. The Rebels offensive line really pushing the D-line of Arkansas State off the football. Third down and five. The football resting at the Arkansas State 10-yard line. Twins set into open field right, one receiver to the left. Dropping back yeah. under pressure. Looking right, throwing right towards the corner of the end zone. The ball's gonna go incomplete. Stephen Gamblin all in the face of Brown. He had to throw it away, Marcus. A field goal opportunity up in forthcoming for UNLV. Randy, we saw it all last week. This ASU defense would give up yardage until the team got inside their 20-yard their line. They stiffened again. Excellent pressure that time from Stephen Gamblin and totally frustrated Der Jared Brown and made him overthrow a wide open receiver Marshall in the end zone. Matthews, Marshall the Matthews will check in for the field, field goal, goal attempt. Team. David White will hold for UNLV. Yard the yard spot right. will come from the 17-yard line, a 27-yard attempt, the ball in the middle of the field. 10 minutes, 27 seconds left to play in this first quarter of action. The snap is back. It's a fake. The shovel pass is going to go to the shoulder of Matthews. Yeah. He'll be dumped back at the 20 yard line. The gamble backfires against UNLV. Oh, what a what a play with that. What a gutsy call by UNLV, but as you say, it backfired. Excellent play that time by Arkansas State. The defensive end was right there and recovered the football on a fumbled, a fumbled field goal. And Marcus, the snap appeared to be good to White. It looked to be a option all the way. White pitched it back to Matthews. Matthews coughs it up. It's a seven-yard loss, but more importantly, the ball goes over on downs to Arkansas State. Randy, there's no question that play, that fake field goal was called from the sideline. Indians take over at their own 17-yard line. First down and 10 with 10 minutes, 21 seconds left to play in this first quarter of action. Johnny Covington on at quarterback. Twin set into open field left. One receiver split to the left. Handoff going up inside to Corey Walker. Walker across the 20, up near the 21-yard line before he's knocked down by Paul Carrillo. But Arkansas State picks up close to four yards on the carry at second down and six. Great play that time. The, 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 uh, what the Indians want to do offensively is establish the running game. Corey Walker finished with 119 yards last week on uh, 19 carries. I'm sorry, on 26 carries. They'd like to see that again. Murphy, Austin, open field right to the left. Jerome McIntosh, one lone setback. Four-man defensive front for UNLV. The ball on the left hash mark, open field is right. Handoff, Corey Walker. Walker pops to the outside. Walker oh. breaks a tackle out to the 25-yard line, close to four yards on the carry. Second effort picked up that four yards before he's finally knocked down by P.J. Tyler. We saw that same effort last week on a fourth down conversion from Corey Walker. He, that time he broke to the outside, broke a tackle from a linebacker and was able to extend for three extra yards. Close to four yards on the carry, brings up a third down and a long two. Austin along with Maurice Thomas split into open field left. One receiver McIntosh to the short side. Covington from the shotgun on third and two. 
Nine minutes, six seconds in this first quarter, no score. Covington, two-step drop, looking left, throwing left, pass caught by Corey Walker. Walker snuffed exactly in his tracks. It's done enough for a first down. Dan Stewart up to make the play for UNLV. Ready that time, a little confidence builder uh, and a little short pass for Covington to settle himself down. Unfortunately, the receiver did not get to the first down marker and the Indians or the Rebels were right there to close in on it. Punting situation, Kyle Richardson a week ago averaging over 41 yards per kick, had five punts for a 41.4 average. UNLV with 10 men on the line of scrimmage. Eight minutes, 27 seconds left in this first quarter. Low snap, the kick. Beautiful kick, booming kick, sending the receiver all the way back to his five. The ball's gonna go all the way into the end zone. Tremendous kick of 75 yards by Kyle Richardson. <laughs> Yesterday we saw Kyle Richardson battling the wind that time. I think he got a little assist that time. Just a huge uh, punt for Kyle that's gonna mean a lot for field position for the Indians. Ball goes back to the UNLV 20 yard line. What a way, Marcus, to turn the field around. Exactly what he did. Gives the uh, Rebels a long way to go again. The defense this time needs to stop the Rebels and give them give their offense a chance with good field position to move the football. UNLV last week, 158 yards rushing, 115 passing, 273 total yards against Rice. Picked up three first downs in their initial drive. This back at the UNLV 20 yard line after the 75 yard punt by Kyle Richardson, twin set into open field right. The handoff going inside to Tony Burton. Burton maybe a yard. Brian Singleton face to face, smash mouth. Football also in the play was Big Carlo White. Hits second down and nine. Great interior Carlo defense White. that time by the Indians. Big Carlo White gets great penetration. The Rebels that time was trying to establish him establish some run the Indian defensive line stuffs the rebel offensive line. No score, seven minutes, 51 seconds left to play in this first quarter of action. Trips into open field left. One lone setback in the pocket, Brown. Brown swings it out to Burton. Screen to the right side at the 25, out near the 30 yard line before he's finally tripped up by Rodney Hawthorne. Also went on the play defensively for Arkansas State. Little squirt screen or swing pass again that time. Uh, gets excellent pressure up front from Stephen Gamblin. The Indians that time missed some tackles. They had him for uh, only a five yard gain. Uh, Chappelle Mitchell, Mitchell missed a big tackle that time and allowed him to pick up an extra four yards for uh, third and one. Give Tim Williams also an assist on the play. Third down and a yard from the 29 yard line of UNLV. Right hash mark, twin set into open field left. Hand off, first down yardage plus more for Burton across the 35 under the 40 yard line before he's finally pulled down after close to a 10 yard gain on the play. Brian Singleton in on the play defensive along with Tim Williams, but it's a first down for UNLV, that's their fourth. Rebels mixing it up again, uh, something the uh, Indians want to do offensively. The Rebels running the ball and doing, throwing some safe passes, again building the confidence of their quarterback. Twin set, make that trips into open field left. The ball's on the right hash mark. Indians at a four-man front. One lone setback. First and ten at the 40-yard line. Play action. Davis rolling to his left. Rolling, rolling. Carlo White putting pressure on the ball. It's oh. deflected. Incomplete. White had a shot at the football. Torrance Suggs nearly caught the deflection. It falls incomplete. Let's go back down to Scott Emmett on the sidelines. Randy, we also talked about the AstroTurf prior to tonight's game as well. That may be why the banged-up secondary is not playing much tonight. Clark Watkins, I talked to him a moment ago, and of course he says he's ready, but he'll tell me he's ready if he was in a wheelchair. But he is taped up almost from his hip all the way down to his foot tonight, so maybe we shouldn't expect to see Clark at all. Second down and 10. Six minutes, 35 seconds left to play in this first quarter. No score. Twin set into open field left. One receiver split to the right. Back underneath, court, underneath center is Jason Davis. Davis on the handoff. Burton. At the 45, Burton at the 50, at the 45, at the Arkansas State 40, pull down from behind by Torrance Suggs at the 35-yard line of Arkansas State. Indians that time got caught in a blitz. Uh, the Indians brought Torrance Suggs from the right corner, and the uh, Burton picked up that blitz and veered to the left and was able to pick up uh, several yards on, on a, again, a, a, a blitz from the Indians. Second trip into Indian territory. A moment ago, a fake field goal on fourth down thwarted the Rebels. Trips into open field left. The ball's on the right hash mark on first and 10 from the 36-yard line of Arkansas State. Play action rolling to his right is Davis. Davis under pressure 
Rose out of the pocket at the 35, at the 30, at the 25, the 20, at the 15-yard line for he's finally pushed out of bounds. Nice scramble. Roderick Mosley has to make the tackle, but not until another first down picked up by Jared Brown. Jared Brown reminiscent that time of a, of a former Rebel quarterback, Randall Cunningham. Rolls out to the right, didn't see a receiver, tucks the ball, and was able to pick up several yards downfield. Showed a lot of quickness and speed that time uh, in running the football. Picked up a total on that scramble of 13, make that 20 yards on the carry. First and 10 from the 14-yard line of Arkansas State. Receiver split to both sides, the ball's on the right hash mark. Straight drop by Davis, throwing towards the corner of the end zone on the fly pattern, incomplete to Damon Williams. Man on man coverage, the ball thrown towards the deep right corner and giving chase for Arkansas State. That was Ray Robbins. A slight fade route that time. Uh, Brown laid the ball out there, but excellent coverage running step for step with the receiver that time by Darrell Baker. 5.58 left to play in this opening quarter. No score. UNLV threatening again. The football back at the 14-yard line of ASU. Second down and 10. Receivers split to both sides. The ball's on the right hash mark. UNLV moving to our right. Hand off the quick trap. Wilson breaks the tackle inside the 10 down near the seven yard line. There is a flag down face mask on Arkansas State as Tarsh Freeman will make the tackle. Randy, it's going to be close. Uh, looked like a face mask, but I'm hoping that he just grabbed the side of the helmet. If not face, yeah, there's going to be a face mask on the play. The carry was from the 15 yard line inside the 10 down near the seven yard line. There's the indication face mask against the Indians. The first down to be gained at the four, so it should, it should be enough for a first down for UNLV after the penalty. Tough penalty for the Indian defense. As we've seen, they had started to stiffen as soon as UNLV had gotten to the 20 yard line. This penalty could be demoralizing though. Carla White checks back in. Half the distance. Moving inside the five down near the three yard line. First penalty against the Tribe, first and goal from the three. Five minutes, 50 seconds left to play in this first quarter of action, no score. UNLV is threatening, receiver split to both sides. Back in the center is Jared Brown. Brown on the handoff, Wilson sweep, tackle for a loss behind the play. Tremendous penetration by Arkansas State, and Chappelle Mitchell came pouring through. Indian coaching, defensive coaching staff, to be credited that time, they were reading it all the way. They had a corner fire that time by Mitchell. Mitchell read the play, was able to make the play for a loss. Big, big tackle that time by the freshman. Take the ball back inside the five yard line, closer to the six, second and goal from the six. Receiver split to both sides. Williams in open field to the right side of the formation. Play action. Rolling right. Under pressure. The ball thrown. Tap. Oh, interception at the 10, at the 20, at the 30, at the 40, at the 50, at the 40, at the 30, at the 20, at the 10, at the 5. Touchdown, Arkansas State. Touchdown, Darrell Baker. A 95-yard interception return. Touchdown, Tribe. What a play by Darrell Baker. Great pressure that time on Gerard Brown, again, the UNLV, UNLV quarterback. He simply threw the ball too high. The Indian defender tipped it. Baker picked the ball up in midair and had nothing but smooth sailing down the sideline. Gerard Brown dove at him at about the 30-yard line, was not able to bring him down and touchdown Indians. What a swing. Indians scoring with their defense. On the end, the extra point, Jeff Caldwell. The snap is down, the hole, the kick on its way, and it is good. Our score is four minutes, 53 seconds left to play in the first quarter. It's Arkansas State seven, UNLV nothing. You're listening to ASU football. Oh my. Whoa.
Four minutes, 53 seconds left to play in this opening quarter. Marcus Lightning has struck in the City of Lights. Oh, my. We said one of the keys to victory for the Rebels coming in was to get their quarterback, uh, Jared Brown, some confidence. That's going to do nothing but destroy his confidence for him. We said the Indians wanted to put pressure on him and shake his confidence. They've done just that. Darrell Baker from 95 yards. Tarl sends the kick high downfield. It's returnable from the three. Coleman to the 10, Coleman to the 15, Coleman wrapped up, sandwiched between two defenders on the special teams of Arkansas State, the Indians inspired football, Marcus. Great punch coverage that time, especially by Jerome McIntosh, the excellent receiver, downfield, spun off a block and was able to make a crushing tackle to bring the player down before the 20 yard line. Let's go down to Scott Emmon on the sidelines. Scott, are you on the sidelines? We'll come to Scott back in a few moments. All right, first down and 10, UNLV down seven to nothing. UNLV has controlled the numbers in this first quarter, but the score is in favor of the Indians. Twin set into open field left, one receiver split to the right. Arkansas State in the 4-3 defensive alignment. Handoff up inside Burton, across the 20. Burton out near the 22-yard line. On the carry, Marcus, from the 17, that was the line of scrimmage all the way out to the 20 four-yard line. Well, let's see. They'll spot the knee down at the 23-yard line. Six yards on the carry, second down and four. Burton's been the workhorse so far running the football. Six carries for 46 yards. Uh, excellent job running the football. Second down and four. Twin set into open field left. The ball's on the right hash mark. Four minutes, 16 seconds in this first quarter. Handoff. Burton trying the right side across the 25 up near the 26-yard line defensively on hand for Arkansas State. That was big Carlo White, also in there defensively was Matt Smith. Matt Smith, great play that time, substituting in to that defensive line. Uh, just right now, the, the Rebels are trying to gain their composure. They're just running the football to let Brown get his confidence back and uh, uh, with excellent defense and pressure by the Indians. Second longest interception return in school history of 95 yards by Darrell Baker. Third down in the yard, handoff, oh. Burton, he stacked up, will he have enough for the first down? Great penetration again by Arkansas State's Matt Smith once again. Great play by Matt, Matt Smith, giving Carlo White a break. He simply stunned that time on an inside slant, was able to make um, able to make contact with the runner and throw him for a loss. Uh, that time we saw the lack of confidence that Jeff Horton has in his quarterback right now. Let me correct that. That was Mark Davenport defensively making the play for Arkansas State. There's a loss of a yard. It's fourth down, a punting situation for UNLV. Snap is back. Matthews barely gets this one away, but it's a high spiring kick. Rachel Murphy calls for the fair catch, and there's a flag down. In the face of Rachel Murphy was a defender for UNLV, and Marcus, that will give Arkansas State an additional five yards. Uh, it's exactly the right call you have to give the uh, receiver, the punt receiver, at least a yard to, to catch the football that time. Number 32 was right up on uh, Reginald Murphy as he tried to make the catch and, and almost threw a hand out and touched him going by. So mark of five more yards. Interference is the call. And Arkansas State will have the football markets for just the second time tonight, but the Indians leading 7-0 now for the offense to come to the show. Great field petition for position for the first time for the Indian offense. Now they want to come in and take advantage of this lead that the defense has given them. Run the football with Corey Walker. Uh, control the clock. Keep this UNLV offense off the field and let them think about how tough their job's going to be all night. Well, the discussion is ongoing on the field. Let's go back down to Scott Inman. Randy, it's amazing what a big play by your defense can do for the momentum. The punter for UNLV just barely got that punt away. It was just an inch or two from having it blocked by Arkansas State, and the Rebel crowd has been taken entirely out of this football game. They announced 32,000 here. There may be a few less than that, but you can hear from probably less than 1,000 of them right now, and I even heard a few disgruntled Rebel fans cheering for Arkansas State a moment ago. <laughs> my, my, how fortunes can change quickly, Marcus. <laughs> I tell you, we've been on that other end before. This is a nice crowd that's fouling in, though. Uh, maybe not capacity, but getting awfully close. Uh, but as uh, Scott pointed out, not vote, not a lot to cheer about right now for the Rebels. That was a 43-yard punt. Offsetting penalties. And they'll re-kick it. Apparently offsetting, the, offsetting penalties. So we'll kick it again back at the 25-yard line. 
Two minutes, 55 seconds left in this first quarter of action. Arkansas State leading seven to nothing. A 95 yard interception and run back by Darrell Baker. UNLV has picked up six first downs. Arkansas State yet to pick up a first down, but the Indians leading seven to nothing. Rachel Murphy, the lone return man back. Back to punt it away is Joe Kristoyak. He'll drop back inside his own 15 yard line. Arkansas State with nine men at the line of scrimmage. Snap is back. Again, the kick is away. Shanked off the right side of his foot. Takes a UNLV roll, however. Lands at the 45. Inside the 30, the 25, it will be down at the 20 yard line. So what turned out to be a 55 yard punt for UNLV. The Indians will start first and 10 from their own 20 yard line. And Randy, that's about a 40 yard turnaround for the Rebels uh, uh, that time as far as field position is concerned. Indians had a punt block on that time and nearly got it, uh, but they caused uh, the, the punter to shake the punt. Unfortunately, the AstroTurf aided that point that punt that time and allowed the ball to roll farther than it normally would on regular grass. Austin along with Murphy lines up wide to the right side. Jerome McIntosh to the short side, the left of the formation. Walker, the lone setback on first and 10. Tight end set to the right side, Clark McBride. Johnny Covington facing a five-man defensive front. Covington dropping back in the pocket, looking to pass, throwing pass incomplete, now picked off by UNLV. The ball was over the head of Rachel Murphy, picked off by UNLV with the interception in the secondary. We'll get that in just a few moments, but at first and 10 for UNLV. Oh, well, at that time, Covington had his receiver open, had plenty of time. The ball just sailed on John that time. Uh, unfortunately, uh, that's a tough, uh, tough interception for Covington, who last week uh, threw the ball for some 214 yards, but had two interceptions. First down and 10 for UNLV as they'll take over at the Arkansas State 38-yard line. Moving to our right in this first quarter, the Indians leading seven to nothing. Twin set into open field right. Handoff, Wilson behind left guard, left tackle they inside the, the 35 there. down near the 33-yard line. At the bottom of the pile was Big Jackson, Clarence Will, ball, Will, uh, Williams, also in the play was Tarsh Freeman. Strong run that time by yards, Shannon Wilson. Down five yards for UNLV. Arkansas defense is going to have to re the recover. Line. The Indians are going to have to recover from that, uh, that interception, demoralizing interception. Five yards on the carry, second down and five. Two minutes, five seconds left in this first quarter of action. Twin set to the short side. Left of the formation, open field, one receiver for UNLV. Handoff, Wilson, sweep, left side, trying to get to the outside. Beautiful tackle by Chappell Mitchell. Carrier. Mitchell made contact at the 28. The 20. Wilson able to lunge forward to the 25-yard line, enough for another UNLV first down, eight yards on the carry. Touchdown saving tackle that time by Mitchell. Unfortunately, it was still uh, some uh, 13, 15 yards down, down, the, down, the, uh, down the field. Twin set into open field left. One receiver to the right, the ball's on the left hash mark. Minute 40 left in the first quarter. Arkansas State leading seven to nothing. Brown at the line of scrimmage. Handoff, Wilson trying the right side. Line of scrimmage was a 25, lunging forward down to the 21 yard line, close to four yards on the carry. Rodney Hawthorne, along with Darrell Baker on the defensive play. Also give an assist to Carlo White. It's second down and six. One of the keys to the game we talked about at the beginning was keeping this Arkansas State defense off the field. The Rebels have been able to move the football in between the 20s, and that has caused the defense to be on the field quite a bit. Three receivers into open field left. Second and six from the 21-yard line of Arkansas State. Brown underneath center, handoff, huge hole on the right side of the formation, across the 20, inside the 15, down near the 13-yard line should be enough for another first down, close to eight yards on the carry. Wilson, a first down for UNLV, the eighth. Randy, the Rebels have totally abandoned the pass, and probably rightfully so, uh, and are just right now base blocking and running the ball straight at the Indians. Indian defense a little worn down right now. Let's see if they can stop them inside the 15-yard line. Nine carries, 45 yards for Shannon Wilson. Twin set into open field left. 35 seconds left in this opening quarter. Handoff, Wilson left side, hit the line of scrimmage by Carlo White, breaks that tackle inside the 10, down to the nine yard line before Rodney Hawthorne puts on the finishing touches. However, close to four yards on the carry 
brings up a second down and six. Carlo White is 6'1", 280 pounds, bouncing, literally bouncing off Shannon Wilson that time at 6'2", 235 pounds. Wilson Great. demonstrating a lot of quickness and power that time. Correction, give that tackle also the assist to Brian Singleton. Seven seconds, six seconds, five seconds. That should be the last play in this first quarter as Arkansas State on a 95-yard interception by Daryl Baker has taken the lead at the end of one quarter. It's ASU 7, UNLV nothing. This is ASU football. Nothing to score. Randy Rainwater, Marcus Elliott, along with Scott Emmon. Scott Mills, our network engineer. The Indians lead seven to nothing. This drive began back at the Indian 38 yard line after the interception picked off by UNLV and the Rebels, the third time in the tribe territory in this first half. Second quarter set to begin from Sam Boyd Stadium in Las Vegas. Second and seven from the 10. Rebels back at the line of scrimmage. Jared Brown returns for the running Rebels. Long signal count, handoff, Wilson sweep, left side at the 10, at the 5, at the 3, at the 2, at the 1. Is it a touchdown? No indication as of yet. Was he knocked down? I haven't yet seen an indication, Marcus. Was it a touchdown? The cannons have gone off. Touchdown, UNLV at 7-6. Just a demonstration that time of wearing down the Indians by running the football. Rebels did not throw a pass one time. Uh, uh, Stan Shannon Wilson carried the ball every play seemingly on that drive and powered his way in for a touchdown that last time. Unfortunately for the Indians, Rodney Hawthorne is down with uh, what looks like a leg injury. 10 yard run by Shannon Wilson, 7-6 the score. You know, the on the scoreboard, capitalizing Marcus on the turnover by Arkansas State. Demoralizing uh, turnover that time, the interception from Covington put the defense in a bad position, gave the uh, Rebels a short field. That time they took advantage of Shannon Wilson, who now has 58 yards on 10 carries and one touchdown. Down the field is Rodney Hawthorne at the four yard line. We'll go down to Scott Emmon in a few moments, try to get an injury update on Randy the linebacker for Arkansas State. That'd be a serious injury for this Indian defense. Rodney Hawthorne, the past two weeks, has performed absolutely incredibly. Uh, they must, must have them in the lineup for this game. Rather than speculate, let's try to go down to Scott on the sideline. Scott, can you tell what happened? Well, again, Randy, you hate to speculate, but Rodney Hawthorne uh, favoring his left leg. It's either going to be around the knee area or possibly a hamstring injury. Of course, hamstring would be better news for Indian fans. They're going to have to help him off the field, so that's not a real good sign. Thank you, Scott Emmett, on the sidelines, and we'll try to get a further update on the condition of Rodney Hawthorne. Big loss for the Indians if he's not able to return. Indian linebackers are playing and going to have to play a clean role right now in this running attack by the Rebels. I think the Rebels have found a little soft spot inside the uh, middle of the Indian defense and uh, also cutting to the outside on some running plays. They're going to exploit that for the rest of the game. The Indians are going to take all, it's going to take all the Indian linebackers and defensive linemen they have on the squad to stop this Rebel offense. Seven plays, 38 yards on the drive, 237 in possession time. Matthews on to add the extra point. 7-6 the score, 14-58 left to play in the first half. The Indians lead by a point. Snap is down, the hole, the kick on its way, and it's good. Our score with 14 minutes, 58 seconds left to play in the first half. It's UNLV 7, Arkansas State 7. This is ASU football.
Good. Rolling on, rolling, 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 I think, at this point. Whew. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. Rebel. Okay. Rebel fans, it's time to draw our contestants in case the motor's kicking in a wind contest. Next contestant will be Sydney Cox Slimmer. Please proceed to the field level in front of Sector 136. The UNLV Department of Representative will greet you there. 1458 left the second half. motor's kicking in a wind contestant is Sydney Cox Sidlar. Seven seven the score, Arkansas State, UNLV all tied up. We're set for the kickoff by the running Rebels that will come from our right, Arkansas State, to receive to our left. Rebels totally dominating the first quarter, Randy, with some 30 offensive plays versus Arkansas State's four in that first half, 471 yards of total offense for the Rebels. Corey Walker along with Reginald Murphy back set to receive. Kick on its way, headed towards Murphy deep in the left corner. Murphy, some six yards Murphy deep in the end zone, will touch end zone down to one touchback. knee. So the touchback will bring the football out to the 20 Indian yard line, first down and 10 for the Indians. Randy, we said at the beginning of the game, the Indian offense needed to control the football and keep the defense off the field. The first quarter that did not happen. The Arkansas State had the ball for a total of two minutes and 18 seconds versus Nevada Las Vegas keeping the football for 12 minutes and 42 seconds. Obviously, we saw the effects of that on that touchdown drive. This Indian defense, especially the defensive line and players like Corla White, simply worn down. Muggy night here in Las Vegas. Austin lined up wide left. McIntosh to the right side of the formation on first and 10 from the Tribe 20-yard line. Corey Walker, the lone setback. McBride tied into the right side. Handoff, Corey Walker. Walker breaking tackles across the 20, the 25, out to the 26-yard line. Outstanding run by Corey Walker as he broke several tackles. Dominic Andrews on the defensive play for UNLV. Great run that time by Corey Walker, showing a lot of quickness and strength, able to break at least three tackles on that run. Just a straight power play to the right side where he broke tackles and picked up uh, right at uh, five, six yards. Second down and four, the football at the 26-yard line of Arkansas State. Austin to the right, McIntosh set to the left. The ball's in the right hash mark, UNLV in a five-man defensive front. McBride is a tight end to the left side. Covington on the handoff, no play action. Outstanding fake, Johnny Covington, he's got running room. Covington at the 25, Covington at the 30. Johnny gets a block from Derek Austin, buried at the 37 yard the line. Carrier. But Johnny Covington has first enough for carrier. the first down, the first of the night for Arkansas State, Jermaine Webster on the defensive play. Randy, I didn't know Johnny Covington could run that fast, but an excellent run that time. He had a receiver break open, Jerome McIntosh broke open at the last minute down the left sideline and was wide open for a touchdown. Covington decided to take, it, take the run though and uh, picked up good yardage. 11 yards on the run for Johnny Covington, 14.08 left to play in this first half. 7-7 the score, Austin lines up wide left, McIntosh to the left side. First and 10 from the 37-yard line. Handoff going straight up the middle. Corey Walker. Walker across the 40 out to the 43-yard line for he's hit by Ken Kandard. Kandard, one-on-one -on -one tackle on Corey Walker, but the carry is across the 40 up near the 42-yard line, close to five yards on the carry. Great power block that time by Jason Bennett. He simply took the nose card, drove him out of the middle of the line. Corey Walker saw it cut back behind that block and picked up an excellent uh, six yards on the play. Second down and four for the first down. 13-35 left to play first half. 7-7 seven, seven the score. Receivers put to both sides. Austin into open field right. Covington against a six-man defensive front. Long signal count. Covington on the handoff. Corey Walker. Walker trying to break the tackle at the line of scrimmage. Trying to drag a defender forward. Hanging on for UNLV was Paul Carrillo. Very close though, Marcus, to another first down. It, let's see, the ball's out near the 43 yard line, but no call for measurement. Very close to a first down. Randy, I think he's gonna be about four yards short on that third down. No gain on the play. I was looking at the wrong, the wrong yard line marker, my apology. Third down and four, no gain on the play. 7-7 seven, seven the score. Covington will operate from the shotgun. Big third down. Austin line up to the right, McIntosh to the left. Walker in the backfield with Johnny Covington. Snap his back, Covington steps up in the pocket. Johnny 
Funny McBride, Clark had it, dropped it, incomplete, as the ball will be punted away by Arkansas State. They're going to call it complete, Randy, we hope. <laughs> oh my goodness, he caught the ball. It looked like it hit great the turf, came right Clark up. McBride. What a great catch by McBride. Randy, I was with you. I thought he dropped the ball, but those guys are a lot closer than us, so since it's in our favor, I'm going to believe that he caught it. <laughs> Seven-yard pass completion, second first down for the Tribe. First completion by Johnny Covington. And our apology, it looked like from our position, the ball was dropped. Good twin, twin set to the left, twin set to the right. The ball's in the left hash mark. First down and 10 at the 50-yard line. Arkansas State moving to our right. And Johnny Covington wisely looks at the play yeah, clock. It's down to 0-0 zero, zero to the Arkansas State Indians. Call time. Or is, nope, it's a five-yard delay of game. Unfortunately, a delay of game. Johnny Covington on that last play made an excellent decision. We only needed about five yards for the first down. He didn't try to go for the whole ball of wax. Picked Clark McBride out, made a great catch, and go for the first down yardage. First and 15, the ball back at the 45-yard line of Arkansas State. Murphy along with Austin lined up to the left side. Leon Cunningham and Jerome McIntosh open field right. UNLV back in a 4-3 defensive alignment. Covington at the line of scrimmage. Hand off Corey Walker. Walker gets a block, breaks to the outside at the 50. At the 45-yard line of UNLV, tremendous cut to the outside. Tackle being made defensively by Jabbar Thomas, but what a great move though by Corey Walker. You know, Randy, we talk a lot about the quickness of Corey Walker, the strength and his ability to break tackles. That time we saw the vision that he has as a runner. He was able to see that the UNLV defense had stacked the middle on him, was able to veer to the left, cut outside, and cut up the field for excellent yardage. Ten yards on the carry brings up second down and five. The football at the UNLV 45-yard line. Shotgun formation for Covington. Twin set to the left, twin set to the right. Ball's on the left hash mark. The snap, the handoff to Corey Walker. It's a shovel almost, as we saw the Utah pass a week ago, but UNLV well prepared for the play. Defensively, P.J. Tyler, the gain is a couple. It's third down and three. Obviously, this is not Utah State, so the Utah State, Utah, Utah pass did not work that time. Uh, tough, uh, great tackle that time by the uh, Rebel defenders. One yard on the gain brings up third down and four. Just inside the 45-yard line of UNLV, twin set left, twin set right. The ball back in the middle of the field. Covington underneath center with one lone setback. Two-step drop, the pass caught by Reginald Murphy. Murph inside the 35, down to the 32-yard line. First and 10 for Arkansas State. Great pass that time on a little short out pattern by Murphy. Uh, Covington simply takes two steps back, drills the ball to Murphy. Murphy gets upfield for uh, and, and, and breaks a, a sandwich tackle there and stretches for the first down. Great let's, go pass. Down, let's go down to Scott Emman. Okay, Randy, an injury update on linebacker Rodney Hawthorne real quickly. Rodney bruised his left ankle, according to team physician Dr. Dixon. They have wrapped it in ice, and he is questionable right now, but we'll get a word later on. First and 10 at the 33-yard line. Hand off Corey Walker. Walker breaking tackles. Corey on his feet at the 30 down to the 25, maybe the 24-yard line. What a great second and third effort by Corey Walker. Randy, you're not going to see very many 10-yard runs better than that when he simply broke three tackles, spun out of another, and stole for almost close to the first down. But there's a penalty flag on the play. Ken Kennard on the defensive play for UNLV. Face mask is the indication. Five yards tacked on to the end of the run. The carry was down to the 25-yard line, so eight yards on the carry for Corey Walker. Eight carries, 35 yards. Tack on five yards for the face mask. Second penalty against UNLV for 10 yards. Fourth first down for the Indians. First and 10 at the 20-yard line. And Randy, I'll keep going back to that key. Controlling the football, the Indians are doing exactly that. They run some five minutes off the clock on this drive, exactly what the defense needed to rest. 7-7 seven, seven the score, the ball's in the left hash mark, twin set into open field right, Cunningham and McIntosh, Covington, two step drop, throwing, pass, nearly picked off at the 16 yard line, the ball's off the fingertips, incomplete of Jermaine Webster, the pass was intended for Jerome McIntosh, unfortunate, Webster could not come up with the pick. Uh, Covington got some pressure that time from Charles Fisher, the 6'2", 255-pound sophomore out of Shreveport, Louisiana, caused that errant throw that was almost picked off by the Rebel defender. Second and 10 from the 20-yard line. 7-7 seven, seven the score, 9.50 left in the first half. Murphy along with Austin lined up to the left side. Cunningham, McIntosh, open field right, Walker the lone setback. 
second and 10 from the 20 yard line of UNLV. Covington, play action, rolling to his right, plenty of time, looks underneath. McIntosh, the catch at the 20, Jerome down near the 11 yard line, host of tacklers on hand for UNLV, but nice second and third effort. And Marcus, about a yard short of the first down is Arkansas State. Yard short of the first down, but a lot of courage that time from McIntosh. McIntosh weighs in at only 170 pounds, but that time carried some three Rebel defenders, uh, some three yards after on his back and almost made the first down, bringing up a third and a little over a yard. And Marcus, that's always a scary play because the defense can come in and strip you of the football as you're actually trying for second, third yardage. Exactly right. Turnover's not needed here. Third and a yard from the 11-yard line. Receiver split to both sides, two tight ends. High eye formation, Zoe Freeman in, handoff, Corey Walker, Walker cuts back at the 10, at the five, touchdown Tribe, touchdown Tribe, Corey Walker from 11 yards out. Touchdown Arkansas State. Great call that time by the Indian uh, coaching staff, that time just a simple delay draw, the Rebels had sent a blitz and the linebacker almost caught Walker in the backfield, he was able to sidestep him, saw open field, got into the end zone, just before he got to the end zone, dodged another Rebel defender and got into and walked into the end zone. Just a great athletic run by Corey Walker, who's showing all of that ability that made him a high school All-American out of Memphis. 13-7 the score. The extra point, forthcoming by Jeff Caldwell. The snap, the hold, the kick, it's on its way, and it's good. Our score, with eight minutes, 58 seconds left to play in the first half. It's Arkansas State 14, UNLV 7. You're listening to ASU football. minutes 58 seconds left to play in the first half that drive Marcus impressive 11 plays 80 yards capped off by the 11 yard touchdown run by Corey Walker and the best part about that drive Randy, Randy it took six minutes off the clock and the Indians were able to score a touchdown we talked about it controlling the ball and keeping this uh, UNLV explosive offense off the field the Indians did that time gave the defense a a uh, great deal of rest, much needed rest. Jim Tarr will kick it away. We'll go back down to the sidelines a few moments to Scott Inman to get a further injury update. Mentioned a few moments ago, Hawthorne looks like Rodney Baby out for the rest of the night. It's gonna be a, a tough loss for the defense, but that time Corey Walker showing some excellent running ability. Jim Tarr sends the kick high downfield. Williams muffs it, goes out of bounds at the nine yard line. The kick was angling to the right of Damon Williams, tried to receive it on the sidelines, lost the handle. UNLV takes over 91 yards away. And we talk about field position and the importance of it. The Rebels have 90, over 90 yards to go for a touchdown or a score this time. Uh, let's see what the Indian defense, how it responds. First down and 10 for UNLV at their own nine yard line. Eight minutes, 58 seconds the first half. 14-7 the score in case you tuned in late. 95-yard pass interception returned by Darrell Baker. Gave Arkansas State their lead seven to nothing. UNLV tied it up, seven seven. A moment ago, the Indians responded with 11 play drive, 80 yards to recapture the lead. The handoff, Wilson, Clarence Williams, right in the back of Wilson out of bounds across the 10, up near the 12, maybe the 13-yard line. And Wilson is a load. Wilson at 6'2", 235 pounds, a senior. Looks like an NFL running back, if you ask me. He's going to be the workhorse tonight, along with Tony Burton. The Indians that time are prepared for him and stack him up for uh, a short game. Second down and six. Twins head into open field left. One receiver to the right on second and six. Handoff. Wilson tries to cut back against the grain. Penetrating Wilson. through was the defense of Arkansas State in there in the backfield. For Arkansas State first, 
That was Linton Beavers. Beavers couldn't quite hang on, but there was Carlo White. The tackle's across the 15 at the 16-yard line, three yards on the carry. It's third down and three, a hurry-up offense for UNLV. 13 carries, 65 yards. Pass thrown, caught at the 25, up near the 30, pulled out of bounds. Nice throw to Jason Tui. It's a first and 10 for UNLV. Surprised that time by the Rebels lining up on the football uh, to throw the ASU defense off, not giving them time to react. Uh, it, it was effective that time, a little out route by the uh, Rebel receiver. Good pass that time by Brown. Ninth first down picked up by the Rebels. First catch of the night by Tui. That reception good for 15 yards and the first down. Ball out to the 31-yard line. 14-7 the score, Arkansas State by seven. Dropping back in the pocket, Brown. Throwing the screenplay. Flag is down. Wilson across the 35 to the 40, the 43 yard line. Linton Beavers along with Tarsh Freeman on the defensive play. Make that Torrance Suggs on the defensive play, but holding UNLV. Dennis Whitmore, the big uh, 6'5, 275 pound junior offensive tackle for the Rebels, is going to get caught holding that time out on the screen, wrapped up and almost tackled. I think Carlo White was the Indian out there. It's going to be a holding call on the Rebels. The line of scrimmage was the 31. The flag is down at the 33-yard line. So actually two yards on the pass to Wilson. And then you mark off the penalty, which brings it back to the 23-yard line. Big play for the Indians. Penalties like that are called drive stoppers. We had a drive going by the Rebels. That's going to really hinder it. They've got some almost 18 yards to go for a first down now. Third penalty against the Rebels for 20 yards. First and 18, the ball is back at the 23-yard line of UNLV. Left hash mark, open fill right, handoff. Wilson trying to go to the right side, strung out. Defensively, Chappelle Mitchell there on the play along with Mark Davenport. The carry is from the 23 up to the 27, make that the 28-yard line, five yards on the carry. It's third and 13, and once again, the Rebels in the hurry-up offense. Trying to throw the Indian defense off, not let them get set. 14 carries, 69 yards for Wilson. Second and 13 from the 28-yard line. Brown throwing complete. Beavers on the hit. The catch is out to the 37-yard line. Tui again on the receiving end. Not enough for a first down. It brings up a third down and three. Indians a little better prepared that time. What can you say? You can't say enough about Chappelle Mitchell. Again, he makes a big play on that last, uh, on the tackle before last. Uh, Coach Bobo says he's going to make the freshman the mistakes, but the effort is there, and he will make some spectacular plays. 14-7 the score. Arkansas State by seven. 7-13 seven left to play first half. Davis dropping back in the pocket. He's got plenty of time. He'll scramble at the 40, the 45, the 50. Into Arkansas State territory at the 48-yard line for he's finally pulled down defensively by the Indians. Coated a little, but it's a first down for UNLV. That's how Gerard Brown is going to hurt you. He's not going to throw the ball for 300 yards and score five touchdown passing, but the threat that he offers as far as scrambling and getting out of the pocket up the field is something the Indians are going to have to be prepared for and look for. 14-yard scramble picks up the first down. 6.50 left in the first half. Twin set to the left, one receiver to the right, the ball's on the right hash mark. UNLV moving from our right to our left. Indians at a four-man front play action. Davis, make that Brown scrambling to his right, losing his balance, caught a little on the defensive play. The carry is down to the 46-yard line. Three yards on the carry, it's second and seven for UNLV. Caught a little that time, the 6'1", 205-pound freshman, uh, strong side linebacker on the play. Uh, Brown that time again, attempting to scramble out of the pocket. That time uh, he had a shadow by Little. Little would not let him out of his sight, and he stumbled. Little pounced on him for the tackle. First half winding down, 6'11". Arkansas State leading by seven. Twin set into open field left, the ball's the right hash mark. Indians in the 4-3 defensive alignment, one receiver split to the right. And off Wilson, penetration breaks that tackle. The line of scrimmage was the 46, lunging down to the 42-yard line. The ball popped free. Arkansas State's Chappelle Mitchell picked it up. He was drugged down by the quarterback, <laughs> Davis. Make that Jared Brown, but uh, looks like the play was stopped, though, back at the 42-yard line. Brian Singleton at the bottom of the pile. They're going to call him down, Randy, but I can't agree with Chappelle. I don't think his knee was down when that ball popped out. Chappelle picked it up and was running back the other way for a touchdown when he was tackled by Brown, but a close call. The officials seem to think that uh, Wilson was down that time. Four yards on the carry, 15 carries, 73 yards for Shannon Wilson. It's third and three. 
UNLV on the move. This play will be the ninth of this drive. Twin set to the left. One receiver split to the right. Four-man defensive front. Screen call. The play incomplete. Burton was the intended receiver in the passing lane. Was Chris Peterson. Peterson closer to the football. It falls incomplete. It's fourth down for UNLV. We continue to talk about the pressure that the Indians are going to have to put on Gerard Davis or Gerard Brown, the quarterback. That time, Torrance Suggs coming on a corner fire. I'm sorry, a linebacker blitz putting extreme pressure on uh, the quarterback, and they're going to have to punt the football. But let's notice that the quarterback now is lined up in the middle for punt formation. This could be a fake punt. Five minutes, six seconds left in this first half. Snap is back to Kroyak. He'll punt this one away. No one back for Arkansas State. The punt will land at the five, takes the bounce in the end zone. The touchback will bring the football out to the 20 yard line. And Arkansas State, Marcus, was prepared for the quarterback who had set himself up out as the up back in the punt formation. Randy, I wouldn't be surprised if we won't see that same formation later on in the game and an actual punt, fake punt, does occur. Let's go down to Scott Emmett on the sidelines. Randy, this football game has turned into a very nice job of play calling by both offenses. I was going to ask you guys earlier where that UNLV passing game was in that 32-yard touchdown drive they had. I don't believe they threw the ball once, but now they're starting to mix it up a little bit. But the Indians stopped them on defense, so now let's see if the offense can get it in the end zone again. 14-7 the score, first and 10. The Indians lead by seven. Covington on the handoff. Corey Walker gets his good block. Walker at the 25, Walker at the 30. Corey on his feet Corey out to the 34-yard line for he's finally pulled down defensively by Jermaine Webster. White great blocking out in front of Corey Walker by Zoe Freeman. Great block again. We're happy to see Zoe back with the squad this week. A great block that time uh, to screen Corey Walker, Walker again. Good vision and cuts behind that block and picks up the first down. 10 carries, 61 yards for Corey Walker, including a touchdown of 10 yards. 4.35 left in the first half. Indians lead by 7, 14 to 7. McIntosh, open field left. Austin lined up to the right. Zoe Freeman, the H, back to the left of the formation. Pitch sweep to the left side. Walker looking for a block. Corey stacked up. He'll pick up maybe a yard. That's all. Tremendous pursuit by UNLV. There on hand defensively was Ken Kennard. Also in defensively was Brett Gilbert. Same play basically to the other side of that time, Randy. That time, Zoe was not able to sustain his block long enough. Uh, Corey got caught for uh, 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 only a short game that time. One yard on the carry, second down and nine. Four minutes left to play in this first half. Arkansas State leading by seven, 14 to seven. Cunningham, McIntosh, open field right. Twin set to the left side. Covington out of the shotgun. Freeman lines up as the H back to the left of the formation. Second and nine from the 36. Snap is back. Covington looking past behind. Rachel Murphy, it falls incomplete. It brings up a third down and nine. Scott rushed that pass a little bit that time, pass thrown behind Reginald Murphy, who would simply run about a five-yard out pattern. Would have been a nice pickup close to the first down. Brings up third and uh, nine this time. Three minutes, 39 seconds left in this first half. 14-7 the score. Arkansas State by seven. Trips into open field right. Austin, the lone receiver, split to the left. Covington at the line of scrimmage. UNLV with the four-man front. Covington in the pocket. Plenty of time. Johnny steps up, looking to the right flat. The pass incomplete at the 48-yard line intended for Reginald Murphy. Murph was open behind the zone coverage, but the ball falls incomplete. Randy, about one yard away from it being a perfect play. The pass would have got him the first down and a great pickup. Covington laid that ball over the outstretched hands of the linebacker, but just outside, off the side of the fingertips of Reginald Murphy, who dove for the football. Derek Charles will drop back for UNLV. Correction, this will be Jason Tui back to return for UNLV. Fourth and nine from the Indian 36-yard line. Ten minute the line of scrimmage for UNLV. Kyle Richardson spirals the kick downfield, takes a bounce at the 35, gets an Indian roll down to the 31-yard line as Arkansas State will be down to smother that kick. So the Indians... Can I pick up the first down? UNLV will have it with 3.23 left in the first half. Cal Richardson punting that time into the, this swirling wind, was not able to get the ball up enough into the wind, and the wind simply knocked the ball down for a low line drive that uh, did not get a good bounce from the Indians. 33-yard punt by Kyle Richardson. 
UNLV will take over first down and 10 with 3.23 left in the first half. The ball's at the 31 yard line of the running Rebels. Trips into open field right. And we gotta wait on the chain gang to catch up with the play. As the Indian defense has done another masterful job in this first half. Bent quite a bit Marcus in that first quarter but the Indians in this second quarter have stiffened against this high octane offense of UNLV. Look for the Rebels to throw the ball in this series. Three receivers split to the right on first and 10. Swing pass out into the flat. Charles at the 30, the 35, the 40, the 45, all the way out to the 49 yard line. Enough for a first down. Chappelle Mitchell on the defensive play for the Indians. Also in there for Arkansas State was Roderick Mosley, but a first down for UNLV. Game, or I'm sorry, touchdown saving tackle that time by Roderick Mosley. The player that time was had nothing but clear sailing, but Mosley dove and brought him, brought him down by the shoulders. 18-yard pass completion, good for the first down for UNLV. They're 11th in this first half. And off Burton across the 50, the 45, down to the 42-yard line of Arkansas State before again on the play was Mosley of Arkansas State, close to nine yards on the carry. Burton that time, seven rushes for 50. I have 57 yards. He's a workhorse, uh, piling up quite a bit of yards on a few carries. Rebels successfully running this football uh, with Burton 57 yards and Wilson 73 yards rushing when they only had a, some 158 last week against Rice. They'll bring the chains out to measure. The ball is at the 49-yard line. The carry is between the 41 and the 42-yard lines of Arkansas State. And it's a first down, 10 yards on the carry for Tony Burton. It's important that the Indians keep the Rebels out of the end zone. Again, the Re uh, Indians have been giving up yardage, chunks of yards between the 20s, but closing down as they get into the red zone, and uh, hopefully it'll happen this time. 14-7 the score. Arkansas State leading by seven with 2.57 left in the first half. Twins set to the left, one receiver split to the right on first and 10 for UNLV. Indians back in the 4-3 alignment. Handoff, Burton sweep right side at the 40. Burton lunging forward to the 35-yard line. Roderick Mosley again on the tackle, close to six yards on the pickup. Mosley, a good tackle again. Mosley stands in, six foot three, weighs 210 pounds. Great size for the junior college transfer. Again, makes a big tackle that saved a long run by Burton. Seven yards on the carry. 10 carries, 65 yards for Tony Burton. It's second and three. The football just inside the 35-yard line. Hand off Burton, the trap play. Burton. Stacked up at the 33-yard line. Brian Singleton in on the play. Also Torrance Suggs there defensively for Arkansas State. Short of the first down. Let's see the market though. Mark Marcus, I believe, at the 32-yard line. So very close to another first down. Rebels are going to call timeout and kind of think about this. But again, a great, great tackle that time by Singleton who plugged the hole viciously. We'll take a timeout with 206. You're listening to ASU football. Yeah. Yeah, okay, my fault. Yeah. I'm sorry, I can't hear you. All right, so what do we do? Okay. Okay. We need an ID, don't we? Fourteen seven the score. Arkansas State leading by seven. Third down in a yard from the 32 yard line of Arkansas State. UNLV moving to the left. Twin set to the left, one receiver to the right, one lone setback is Wilson. Hand off Wilson left side. He's got the first down inside the 30 down to the 28 yard line. Stations, we owe you this 10 second identification. Let's pause 10 seconds. This is the Arkansas State Indian Football Network. First and 10 for UNLV at the 29-yard line. 
Three yards on the carry, enough for the first down for UNLV. That's their 13th first down this first half. 16 carries, Marcus, 76 yards for Shannon Wilson. Great play that time by Wilson, who broke the tackle of Carlo White, who had him thrown for a loss. If he could have just wrapped up, Wilson that time broke out of the tackle and rushed for the first down. We got another injury for Arkansas State. Let's go down to Scott Inman. Scott, can you determine who the injury is for Arkansas State? I'm sorry, Randy, I'm having trouble hearing you. The fans are doing the wave. Can you tell, ask me that again? How about the injury for Arkansas State? We'll come back to that in a moment. Okay. First and 10 from the 28-yard line. Left hash mark. Option to the short side of the field. The pitch back to Burton at the 25. Burton down to the 21-yard line for he's driven out of bounds. A minute 41 left in this first half. Chappell Mitchell along with Torrance Suggs on the defensive play. The carry from the 29 all the way inside the 20-yard line of Arkansas State. And Marcus, big series for the Indians, close to eight yards on the carry. They're beginning to bend again. They're beginning to bend, but we're down to a minute and 41 seconds left in the half. Indians have a history of tightening up as the team gets inside the 20. The Rebels are at the 20 yard line right now. Second down and a yard. Minute 41 left in the first half. Left hash mark, twin set into open field right. Hand off. Burton left side Burton, down to the 18-yard line, very close to a first down. Let's go back down to Scott Emmons. Scott, injury update. Randy, that was Brian Singleton who had just coming back from an arm injury earlier in the season and played last week against Utah State. This time he has injured his left ankle, so another linebacker gone out of the middle of ASU's defense. Wow. Randy, wrong time for linebackers to be getting hurt during this season, or during this uh, series. First and 10 from the 18 yard line. First down number 14 for UNLV. Twin set to the left, one receiver, Charles into open field right. The ball's the left hash mark, a minute 18 left in the first half. Arkansas State leading by seven, there's a mix up. The ball's loose on the ground, let's see who's got it. Looked like everyone but Brown was prepared for the snap. <laughs> I think there's a flag down also though, Randy. Well, there was a mix up and now we've got a timeout UNLV call by UNLV. So with a minute six left in the first half, we'll pause with our score. It's Arkansas State 14, UNLV 7. This is ASU football. My voice is about to go again. I can tell it. One minute, six seconds left in the first half. 14-7 the score, the Indians by seven. Lean UNLV. This drive began back at the 31-yard line of the running Rebels. Eighth play of the drive. Second down and 10 from the 18-yard line. Movement at the line of scrimmage defensively, but no flags are down. Trips into open field right. Pass on the flat, caught by Charles. Charles defended perfectly by Arkansas State. Tremendous support from the secondary. Very little gain on the play, maybe a yard. Tremendous play by Chappelle Mitchell. Chappelle Mitchell and also a great hit out there by Carter Little. Just an excellent read of the screen that time. Uh, Indians right there to make the, uh, the tap, uh, tackle. Give one yard on the pass completion. Third down the pass, is it caught? Flag is down at the five yard line. Defensively, Arkansas State was all over the receiver, Charles. He managed to catch the ball at the five-yard line. It should be enough for a first down for UNLV. Jeremiah Legon that time is going to be called with interference. He read the play perfectly, but unfortunately went through the receiver to the football, and uh, that's just a penalty down uh, inside the red zone. Tough, tough break that time. I would think, Marcus, they'll go ahead and take the play. You would mark off half the distance, in this case from the 17. 
So if you take the pass completion, it's gonna take you all the way to the five yard line. So move it down to the five yard line. 12 yards on the reception is enough for a first down for UNLV. They're 15th in this first half. It's first and goal from the five. 34 seconds in the half. And a Burton smothered, smashed the football loose, recovered by Arkansas State, recovered by the Indian defense. Stephen Gamlin with the loose football. Oh my, what a hit that time by Little. He read the play all the way and absolutely a tremendous collision with Burton. Burton could help but turn the football loose and Stephen Gamlin, the German, is right there to pick the ball up. Just a great clutch defensive play by Little who's been on several tackles during this series. Big, big defensive stand by Arkansas State. The ball is at the nine yard line. Dickie Nutt will be our special guest at halftime. Stay tuned, the new basketball coach at Arkansas State. 29 seconds left in the first half. 14-7, the Indians lead by seven. Receiver split to both sides. Covington, he'll go down to one knee as he'll lunge forward out near the 10-yard line. As Marcus, the Indians have dodged two bullets tonight, one interception by Baker. That one fumble recovery a moment ago on a great defensive hit and the recovery by Gamlin. Randy, the Indians are just excited to get into halftime this, this time with the lead uh, threatening like that and being able to recover the ball on the five-yard line. A moral, moral victory and confidence builder for the Indians. What a big play, Randy. Three seconds, two seconds, one second as the half will come to its close. The half has brought itself to an end, and Arkansas State leads by 7, 14 to 7. Stay tuned for halftime. This is ASU football. Rebel fans, it's time for the Chase and Motors Kick It In and Win contest. Now we like you to direct your attention to midfield for the Local break number one.